Hello YouTube. Uh, this is the Foscam FI8905E. Um, uh, first purchased this thing. This is a power over Ethernet camera. Um, I've received it and uh, the way that they come. Uh, this is an outdoor camera and it's supposed to be waterproof. And it comes with a, a dongle here. This Ethernet uh, PoE. It also has the um, a reset button here and a power connector here. Um, if I'm going to mount this outside, I have a problem that this has also got to be outside, and I'd rather it not be. So I took the camera apart, and I was looking in there. Um, I had a Vivotech camera previously, and there was actually an Ethernet port on the board. Um, this is the system board here, and um, there's no Ethernet port. There's just these little connectors on here, um, and this is the system board right there. Uh, if you like, I'll show you the inside of the back of the camera, and um, on this one, I've upgraded the lens. I've got a 6 millimeter lens as opposed to the 4 millimeter lens it comes with. So, staring at this thing and wondering how I was going to hook it up, I uh, noticed a few things about it, which I'm going to show you here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this board from these, um, unscrew them from where they're connected onto the, uh, the back here of the camera. Oh, by the way, you have to, uh, there's a seal, a manufacturer's seal, you have to, to do this, so doing this probably voids your warranty. In fact, I'm sure it does. Um, I played with the cameras. I heard some people had some issues with them. Uh, you know, they're not that expensive. So, you know, whatever, we'll try it and see if this will be become a long-term solution. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you the interesting thing I found in here. Let me, uh, there's a little clip here. Let me get this off. So there's four connectors here. Uh, there's one on the top, um, and there's three on the bottom. And I'm going to tell you what each of these are for. I'm going to go ahead and unplug them, but then I'm going to show you what each one is for. This is the board showing you the connectors there. You'll notice that there's uh, four sections, uh, one there, one there, one there, and then a the large one down here. So these are the four wiring uh, connectors here. Uh, let's see here, the yellow one right here, that's for the uh, reset button. The black and white, that's the power here. You know, this is the whole cable. And if you look at the Ethernet, you'll notice that there's two lights, and then obviously an Ethernet connector, RJ45. So that leads us to the other two harnesses. This, this one has four wires on it, two purple and two gray. These are for the lights. And this one here, this is for the actual Ethernet connector. And looking at it, studying it, found something really interesting. That if you look at the wires, let's see if I can get that in focus for you. Uh, you can see it's orange. There's orange, white, orange. White, green. I know you can't see these, but they are, it is, it's, the code is this, across the pins. It's white, orange, orange, white, white, green, white, blue, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And I also have this little connector here. Uh, it's a Panduit. Uh, I 
and just had this laying around, but uh, if you need a part number, a Minicom jack, I guess that is probably the part number right there. And the wiring code is a standard Ethernet wiring code. Let's see if I can get that. We're looking at, um, hold on, B, which it's the exact same wiring code as it's on this harness. So, um, you got to get these connectors out of this back plate. I mean, I didn't want to destroy it, obviously, if I needed to. Uh, so the overall intent here is that we're going to take this jack, this Ethernet jack here, and we're going to connect it to this harness right here. And then there's like a compression sleeve. Here I have a different camera that can, will show this a little bit better. It's got a compression sleeve on it. And it's got a little rubber grommet there. And then there's the compression nut. And it goes into the hole right there. A little bit larger, probably about the size of coax a little smaller and you can see the little rubber seal there and you put this nut here and it's compression fitting so you know, that's just my example here but as you can see right here on this cable there's the compression seal and here's the nut on the wire so I want to take this out um, and uh, take this wire out and I want to try to preserve all these connectors um, if I needed to reset the camera I could always plug in the Ethernet here and then I could still connect the power up and the reset button and if I wanted the lights so I'm going to go ahead and, well let's see here See if we can get these out. I, I start with the, either the reset or the power. That one came out pretty easily. Um, the reset did. The power came out pretty easy. Now these other ones, these are going to be a challenge. So what I'm doing is I'm twisting the wires to the side. And I'm going to just try to feed it through the hole here. I know that I can get a, um, I could take these pins out and reseat them, but I would really prefer not to do that. And you can kind of see what happens. It kind of jams in there a little bit. Got that one out. And now the big one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just instead of fighting with this thing, I'm gonna go, and I know I'm going to cut it. I'm going to go ahead and pull this sleeve back or push it forward. take maybe another inch and a half of this sleeve just in case you know just to have an extra little bit of space so I'm just going to slice through the sleeve there I'm not going to get any wires I'm probably not going all the way through it and you can see that it's shielded there
That was a surprise. There's a few extra wires. I haven't discovered what they're for, but there are some extra wires in there. When I did this the first time, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, what did I cut? Uh, all right. So now I got a couple inches there. And uh, let's see my rubber grommet. I'm going to go ahead and pull these connectors through there. Or am I not? I don't know. loose and I'm going to go ahead and separate these here. twisted a little bit so I'm going to untwist these I actually uh, stripped these back these are not solid these are actually stranded wires they're a little thicker than the other than the other like the well the signal wires for the LED lights and stuff are a little bit smaller than that this is not quite like working with it's not exactly like working with uh, Ethernet but it's pretty close but they are stranded wires, but they're a pretty good size diameter. Um, I don't have a whole lot of luck doing this uh, how I would with Ethernet, so I'm just going to feed these individually. Double check my pinouts here. fold these over and these I don't know if you've ever used these before but you know they cost maybe five bucks a little bit more than that uh, seven bucks for these connectors and they just clip on there and they've got a series of connectors that actually just kind of go around the cable and they they grab the metal inside all right Actually, I have a tool for this, but I'm going to use these. All right. Now, this has worked previously, but for the moment of truth, I'm going to bring the harness back here, and I'm going to plug in the, uh, the Ethernet lights. on the back of the uh, dongle there. Then I'm going to go plug in my homemade harness. Um, and just to 
make sure everything is right, I'm going to plug the camera in. I don't know whether it would probably boot without the camera, but just for grins, I'm going to plug the camera back in. And there's a lot of metal around here, so I don't want the system board touching metal. I've just got this little piece of paper that I'm going to fold and put in here, just so that around so you can see it. So the board's just going to sit there on the paper there, so it doesn't short out. Okay. I have a PoE switch here, and we're going to plug it in. Get the dongle over there so you can see it. See here, it's lighting up. Alrighty, and then let's see here. I will turn the camera around and show it to you here in just a second. Let me get it open. Let's see here. I'm sure this is boring like what's he doing okay all I'm doing is uh, getting the camera up and I'm going to show you here that oh, this is weird like looking into yourself there we go <laughs> that's not what you want to see here anyway there's the camera as you can see it's working here's a close-up of the connection And this specific application, I'm ordering some outdoor UV protectant uh, gel filled Ethernet cable. And uh, what I will be doing is feeding that up through the awning. And then I'll be putting it through that um, the connector like I showed you here, um, screwing it down tight. Uh, then I'll be stripping the Ethernet back and uh, putting an RJ45 jack on it. And all of this will be inside the camera. And there'll be no electrical connections outside. And it'll simplify the wiring. I won't have to hide any wiring. And I think I'm going to submit this to the FOSCAMS boards as just a recommendation. You know, this is a part that I guess that they could make, or maybe somebody else could make and sell it. Um, you know, you do have to break the factory seal on it. Um, it is acceptable, I guess, to open the front up, like I did, by unscrewing it, 
because there's no factory seal on that. But the back, you know, there is a seal. So uh, anyway, I think it's well worth it just because I don't, there are a couple items on the board where people are commenting that uh, I drilled a one and a half inch hole and pushed the harness up through there. You know, I guess that would be a way to do it too. I, I just want a clean installation. I think this is going to definitely fit, suit my needs. Anyway, YouTube, I definitely hope I was helpful. Uh, thank you very much for watching it. Uh, if you found this useful, give me some comments. Uh, thank you very much.